Hey there. So, <clears throat> the earth plates. I'm not a big science buff, but I do know about earth plates. And the shifting of the earth plates is what oftentimes scientists say causes earthquakes. And so I bring this up is because I am thinking about the newest fatality of, of the police who just today in Baltimore killed the ninth black female in Baltimore. And it is said that she was holding her five-year-old son at the time. Um, reports are saying that they uh, stopped her because of warrant, a warrant, a non, um, a non-threatening warrant. Um, it's just a regular bench warrant that she was stopped for. But anyway, this is the ninth casualty by the hands of the police. Trump is running for president and he's saying the most craziest things. Most importantly, there's a handful of people that we worked with that we knew um, associated with that are coming out of the closet, so to speak, with a lot of hate speech and bigotry, a lot of ideas that we would never think they had, but, but it's coming out. Everything that is done underneath the surface is starting to come up. And I, I began to think about those earth plates and when they shift, things begin to shake here on earth. And spiritually speaking, I know that's what's happening now. So much is being seen here on our side in the Western parts in the United States. A lot of things are starting to really, really surface. And, and it seems to be an intense uh, eruption of almost frantic attempt to keep things status quo. And that's because there's a shift happening. And I will venture out to say that the shift started happening two terms ago. The shift was happening, but it really, really, there was a two terms ago. And so we began to see those that have been comfortable with the status quo spiritually be bothered and probably not even know why. There are arguments breaking out on Facebook between people that don't even know each other and some may not even know why. Well, there's a shift happening. Things are no longer ever going to be the same. Uh, so to those people who support the bigotry in the and the hatred of certain groups of people. I, I'm not just talking about blacks. I'm talking about certain groups of people that have been historically um, put down and cast aside. That's no longer where we are anymore. That is no longer the consciousness of the collective. So things are shifting and there's an uproar. My encouragement, and I like to always end on an encouragement. My encouragement for those of you who are listening is to stay centered in yourself. Do not get caught up, of, uh, uh, caught up on the things that we see. Don't get caught up on the things that you see, but stay centered enough so that you can always stay focused on the things that you know. 
your vision is always going to be a personal one. And your vision is always going to be given from your intelligent mind, your spirit. And it's always going to line up with the collective vision. So you stay in centered, nothing to disturb your peace, making sure that you set yourself up so that nothing disturbs your peace. And if it does remove yourself, do what it takes to manage your time, manage your heart space, because things are changing. They're changing for the better. Keep your eyes on what is good. Turn things off when it's starting to bother you. And when it does, speak life to the situation. Our words are very powerful. Our vision is even more powerful. So when vision and our words line up together, things happen. So that's my encouragement to you. It's shifting. It's changing. It has already changed. It's just a lot of people are not happy with that. But there are few. The collective has spoken. So God bless you. Be well in every area of your life. Seek peace. Seek love. Live in truth. God bless.